Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to convert uh, Flight Simulator X scenery to X-Plane 10. Uh, this is the first part, which will be about the conversion process. First of all, you have to have Flight Simulator X installed and then install the scenery you want, want to um, convert. This tutorial uh, will use uh, Flight Tampas, San Martin, complete uh, version 1.7 uh, as an example. Just uh, as a note, this is a tutorial on how I convert my scenery from Flight Simulator to explain rather than uh, how you must convert your scenery. I have uh, installed my Flight Simulator scenery and uh, I have started up the uh, FS to explain. Okay, click Browse and then choose uh, the Flight Simulator directory uh, where your scenery has been installed. And uh, here we choose uh, Flight Tampa Martin scenery. And in the middle we choose any additional Flight Simulator library. And uh, for this scenery we choose Flight Tampa Libraries. And in the bottom, you choose uh, the directory where your custom scenery uh, X Plane 10 directory is uh, located. Okay, I just have to find my directory here. Okay, here it is. Okay, here you choose uh, which is the minimum x version you want to convert your scenery to. And uh, I know uh, from trial and error that uh, uh, if I choose version 8, um, the Flight Tampa scenery will work uh, better. But uh, this is a matter of trial and error. So uh, try and see what uh, works the best for the scenery that you want to convert. And then there's the season. I've never experienced that uh, it will make any difference if you choose uh, spring or summer or winter or so on. So uh, I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Okay, click convert. Okay, let's speed up the process. Okay, our scenery is converted, and uh, a lot of objects have not been converted correctly, uh, but uh, it'll do. Okay, let's let's close uh, FS to explain and to find the directory where the scenery has been put in the custom scenery folder in explain directory, and uh, here flight Tampa Martin. And here is the scenery that uh, has been converted. Okay. Next step in the process is to check our scenery if it has been converted correctly. As you can see here, there's a line in the water that should not be there. And uh, the runway does not look correct. We will look into that later on in another part. Over here, we have some incorrectly converted trees. A lot of trees have been convert it into gray boxes. Also over here, here, and 
over here. Okay. Also over here. Okay, next thing is I will check my scenery at night time to see if the lightning is correct. And as you can see, there are no lights on the runway and taxiways, taxiway center lines are missing and taxiway edge lights are also missing. Well, some, some lights have been converted from the FSX uh, scenery but uh, they are not that bright, so we will make our own in uh, in a later tutorial. Also, the poppy here is missing. There are no lights in the poppy. We will correct that later on. Okay, next we will look at the other airports in uh, St. Martin complete scenery and uh, first of all we will look at uh, St. Bart's as the first airport okay the airport is here and uh, if we step out of the aircraft and look at the scenery if there are incorrectly converted scenery okay as you can see here there are the same gray trees as we saw in St. Martin we will have to correct that and here and also great trees over here and a lot of great trees here basically everywhere we will be editing that uh, in the next tutorial with uh, overlay editor All right, next we'll go to Seba, which has the code TNCS. Okay, moving to Seba. As you can see, there are some weird things happening here, trees flying in the air. And if, if we move our camera up, then we can see that uh, the scenery looks fairly correct, but uh, it has some shininess that we will edit also in a later tutorial. Also some great trees and uh, our aircraft is not on the runway it's underneath um, the runway as I will show you here okay it's underneath this cliff so um, this issue we will correct uh, also in a later tutorial Thank you for watching. Next time we will look uh, at the scenery editing with uh, Overlay Editor. See you next time.